when you're first getting started, you definitely don't have all the pieces in place, and you don't even necessarily know where you're going. And so there's sort of this feeling that you're not like a real company yet. You know, that there's some point, you know, like you're just a bunch of guys, and there's some point like once you have an office and like a secretary, and you have like customers, and you have like all these different things that you're a company, and right now you're like a bunch of guys with a dream of starting a company. But really, it's like you're a company as soon as you decide that you have a company. I mean, obviously, legally, there's at some point you incorporate. But ultimately, that turns out not actually to be that. You do need to do that at some point, but it's not that significant a step. I don't really have any business background, per se. I don't know if you really need one. I think that if, as long as you're willing to like listen to, to you know, seek out the people who you trust and who are going to give you kind of unbiased advice, and if you just listen to them, I, I think that you can kind of learn as you know. You're not going to know everything you need to do, or even like a small part of it. And all of it you have to figure out, but ultimately, like, there are things you're not going to figure out on your own, or at least it's helpful to get direction from other people who know about the specific questions you have and can give you advice. So as to try to, like, build a group of people, some, like Mike said, definitely having a good lawyer who can advise you on those sort of things is helpful. Having, you know, people who are familiar with the technical area you're working on who can maybe answer technical questions can be helpful, but also people who've uh, worked with startups or, you know, it depends what path you're taking, but like if you're trying to get funded by a large venture capital firm, you know, you want to talk to someone who's worked with those sorts of firms and knows what sort of things they look for. And people get these like stars in their eyes. They think about like, wow, what if these guys, you know, turn into the next whatever giant company worth billions of dollars? You know, by giving them advice, I could have been in on the ground floor, or I could just ignore them. You should, on your own, identify people who, you, who you can see had a similar experience and would have like know what to do, kind of, because you probably don't know what to do, and seek them out, and they will want to like talk with you. People are like very, very encouraging.